All right, hi Year 7. So this video is for people who are working at home so they know what to do. Um, in your booklet you'll find this image on a page in your booklet. It's an image by an artist called Jim Dine. And he's an artist that we're going to look at in art for a little while at the start of term. Um, and if you have any notes that you want to write about Jim Dine when we show you videos, then feel free just to write them along the side of that page there. Um, and on the other side, you can see that we've got a grid, which is exactly the same size as the image that you're going to draw from. So the way that I'm going to start this drawing is just in this top right hand box here. Uh, can you see there is a white shape here that comes all the way across and it starts just over halfway up that black line. Okay, this line here, this line, this edge of this this edge of contrast between the dark and the light, it starts just above that halfway point on that line. Okay, so I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm going to measure in where that point is. Okay, if you want, you can use the pencil measuring technique just to double check that that point is at the right height on, on your line. And I'm happy that mine is. So the next thing I'm going to do is mark out where the top of the tool is going to come to. It's going to come to there it, and what I'm looking at there is this negative space here in between this part of the tool and the, the middle line. So I'm looking at that and I'm just trying to get that space nice and accurate. Okay, I'm then going to also put this dot in here um, but I'll give you some time to do those ones and then I will show you the next step. All right, so the next step is this dot here. So it's just going to come that far up the line. You can do it by eye, or if you, you feel like measuring it with your pencil, you can measure with your pencil. So just double check that it's that far from the middle, this middle line. So I'm measuring it now from this horizontal line. So it's that far up the line. It's the other side of the white section of the tool. And it's perhaps just a tiny bit higher, actually, than I've done it. So again, if you make a mistake with this measuring, you just carefully rub it out and then just pop in the real line. Alright then, so it's going to come all the way over to the side here. The widest part of the tool is going to be over here. So now I've got all of my parts marked in. I'll give you some time to mark those in. Again, if you want to measure them with your pencil like that, just to double check that you've done them right, you can do that now. Okay, the next step then is to sketch in roughly between those lines as the shapes you see them are in the drawing. Now, I'm going to sketch, but I'm going to hold my pencil about halfway down, nice and loosely. And I'm going to use this part of my hand to be able to steady my hand um, and so that I'm, I'm able to control my pencil a little bit better. Um, this is going to come all the way up here like so. And then it's going to curve all the way around like this. Okay, um, and then the top section here is going to curve all the way around. Again, I'm just looking at this space here, this triangle of negative space, to see if I can try and get that shape correct. It comes down to the widest point here, and then it's going to come all the way over to this point. So I don't mind whether you draw that direction or that direction, although remember that um, as an artist, you need to practice drawing in all directions now. And that's part of the skills that we're going to be teaching you in year seven. Okay, I'll give you some time to do that now. And I'll show you the next step in a minute. All right then, so hopefully that's gone well for you. Remember, if not, just keep measuring and double checking. And then you can um, make changes to it. The next step I'm going to do is to draw this section here, this part of the tool. And I'm going to measure it from the middle line, the tall middle line, the, the central middle line, over to the edge of that tool. Is that far? So I can just measure using the pencil measuring technique over to there. And then this section here from the middle to the inside of the tool is actually quite small. So it's just like that. And if you look at this little corner of space that's what we're going to look at when we start drawing 
the shapes of that tool in. So I'll just give you a bit of time to measure those two points um, and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so now that you've done that, you can then take this up to this point here, remembering that we want a nice gentle curve, okay, all the way down. And then on the other side, we're going to come all the way over there like that. And then it comes down to there. Now, can you see that there is a little bit of the handle which pops up into that box there? So actually, part of it is a tiny bit wider and comes all the way down there like this. Okay, so you can have a go at doing that section and then I'll show you the next step. All right then, so hopefully you've been successful in that. Remember that if not, don't worry, you just need to use your rubber and make changes. The next step then is to get this circle put in. And I'm going to put the circle in and it's going to be that far from the line. So the center of the circle is that far from the line. Um, what I'll do is I'll just measure where the center comes to. It comes to roughly there just a little bit left of that center line and I'm just going to pop a little dot in very carefully to show the center of that circle and to be able to draw the outsides of the circle I'll just use my light drawing technique and I'll show you in a second okay then so the next step is to do the outline of the circle again I'm holding my pencil nice and lightly and um, very loosely and then I'm just going to sketch can you see it goes into that part of the of the, t of the box there, it does go in there and then it comes around there like this and that is my careful circle, okay? Nice and light, have a go at doing that one then. All right, and can you see the next step we're gonna do is this bit here, it's almost like a kind of rectangle but much more curved on the ends um, and so very, very lightly, you can draw that top line in. It's going to fit the, the bit of metal slides along in that section and it comes all the way up here like this. <laughs> Excuse me, year seven. Um, and then the bottom of that is there and it comes all the way along like that. Remembering that on the ends, it's nice and curved. So we can just curve that off like so. And I'll give you some time to do that one now. Okay, so my tool is starting to really take shape now. Um, a, a key shape that I need to add in is the, the, the arms of the tools that come all the way down here and then this one at the back. So you've done really well. We've not got too much to go really. Um, I'll do this top section first and then I'll show you how to do the handles. Now the top of that tool in the background can you see there is a bit of metal that comes all the way up here it's in the background here and then it turns into a handle there so fundamentally this tool is made up from two bits of metal that kind of go over each other and move over each other so we're going to draw this one at the top here and um, if I take my pencil and go all the way up to the top of that tool can you see from the middle line it's going to be that big now if I lift that over like so and I just hold my pencil very lightly there I can see where the top of my tool is going to go and very quickly take my pencil away and just pop that line in and now that I've got it measured out I can start drawing in the shapes but I'll just let you measure that out just so that you've got that point measured out okay then so the next step is that we are going to really lightly sketch in that line which is going to mark that triangle out for us. So that comes all the way down there like so. And then that comes into that box, that comes down there. You can see that that line actually extends here as well. Um, on the other side of that line, it's a bit curved. It's a bit difficult to see because there's quite a lot of tone on there at the moment. But then I think it's got a bit of a wobble and it gets a little bit thicker so that it can attach onto this shape here. So I'll just give you a bit of time to, to draw that section in. All right, and the next section then is that we're gonna mark 
the top of the other side of the handle. We've got the top of this side of the handle, but then we just need another little top of the handle that comes from here and it's going to end up roughly there. So it does get a little bit thinner there. What's going to happen then is we're going to join those up and that one up and then we can move on to the handles. So I'll just give you a little bit of time to mark in the tops of the handles there. All right, and remember, double check the sizes. If you need to remeasure it using your pencil, you can do so now. I think mine would actually need to be a bit thinner. If I just measure it a little bit better there, it's going to be a tiny bit thinner. So the next step then is to take the shapes down like that and draw that in okay remembering that it's a bit of a gentle curve to the top of your shape and once you've done that you can just add that little bit of um, the tool there which goes into the next box and I'll show you the the bottom handles Right, well done Year 7. It's quite a difficult drawing this one to start off with, but I think if you've managed to get this far and, and do some, some good drawing, hopefully you're learning stuff about how to measure things. So the bottom foot here actually ends up almost at the left hand side, but it's got about um, half a centimetre away from the bottom, whereas this one really ends up just touching the bottom of the grid. So I can just pop that one in like so, looking at the size of that negative space there between the edge and the edge of the tool and just marking in very lightly where that, that tool is going to come to, the handle is coming to. And then on the left hand side here, it comes up there like so. Um, the tool itself, we're going to draw in the handle, it's going to come all the way down there to that point. So I'll give you some time to measure those points in and then I can show you how to finish off the handles. Alright Year 7, so now you can just start sketching in the quality of that line. So they come down these handles but they actually kind of flick out just a tiny bit at the bottom. So just nice and lightly sketch in the quality of that line. And the other one on the other side here, this, the second side of that same bit of handle, comes all the way down there like that and then meets that point there like so okay on this side we've got a handle that comes all the way there like that and another handle on the side here that comes all the way over there like that. Alright then, so give that one a go and see if you can try and get some um, some of those lines drawn in. Um, and once you've done that, you'll be finished your drawing, apart from the tone which I will show you how to add next week. So, well done, have a good time with your drawing and I hope that's been useful for you.